My name is Mandy Jablonski. Um, I grew up in Pierce, Nebraska. I have been a licensed massage therapist for, it will be 18 years this fall. Um, I decided that I wanted to be a massage therapist when I was a junior in high school. I was supposed to write a term paper for our English class on a career that we wanted to research and possibly pursue. So um, it was just something that as I was growing up, um, that you know, my grandma enjoyed me rubbing her feet and my friends said I did a good back rub and so it just seemed to kind of fit. So I interviewed a massage therapist from Norfolk. I researched the schools that you would have to go to, the education you would need, the training, you know, type of licenses, how much money they made, all the things that went into um, becoming a massage therapist for this term paper. And by the time I was done with it, I knew that that's what I wanted. I wanted to do that and that was just gonna be my fit. Um, so I attended the Omaha School of Massage Therapy. I graduated in 2002, and then I received my license the fall of 2003. Um, since then, I have practiced in Western Nebraska for a few years. Um, my husband and I moved back to Pierce in 2015, um, and then I started working again at Hair Magic for two years, I ran in space there, and then I came over to Hausman PT in this office space that I'm in now in 2018. Um, I've been in this office for three years and it's been wonderful. Um, I really enjoy, you know, helping the community. You know, I love my clients. You know, it gives me a deep satisfaction when I have someone who calls and says, you know, I have this chronic pain or I'm, you know, experiencing this problem and for them to come in and have a treatment and then walk out and I see them, you know, two, three weeks later and they tell me that they haven't had that pain since. That, that's my, my why. That's what gives me that deep satisfaction of knowing that I'm doing good for people. Um, I also enjoy the part of being my own boss. I set my own hours. I set my schedule. It works with my family. I have four children. Um, that are eight, six, four, and two. So we are busy between school and sports and all the places and all the things. You know, it's it's always been family first and then my career second. So this has always been a great fit for me to be able to have both of those realms. Um, I enjoy helping in our community. I've volunteered for Chamber for the last four years. I just finished my second term as chamber president this last summer. Um, I have enjoyed immensely helping our fellow business members um, and businesses in the community, encouraging new businesses, you know, helping people. I enjoy the marketing aspect of, of my business and helping other people learn how to, you know, market themselves and to increase their businesses and how to really you know, ensure that they have a future in doing what they love doing. Some of the challenges I face are Probably one of the blessings that I have is, you know, having this duality of being able to have my career and be at home, but it's hard when I want to be here more and I can't. You know, if my schedule doesn't allow me to work, you know, four days a week, there may be weeks where I only work one day, you know, so the challenge I have is a lot of times if someone calls and I'm scheduled out three weeks in advance, I can't get you in on the same day. Um, so I've learned, you know, that I encourage my clients to schedule ahead, to get on a routine, to make sure that you know they don't get left left out. Um, and I also have a really good handful of the, the massage therapists in other towns that I can refer to. So that is probably the, the hardest challenge for me is wanting to help more people and not always having time for it. So um, I think one of the other challenges is um, in a small community, well, in any community, um, trying to educate the public on the benefits of massage. That it's not just um, something to do because you have extra time or, you know, things like that, but it's not just a fluffy spa treatment that there's, you know, amazing multitudes of health benefits when it comes to touch therapy, whether it's massage or, or exercise or, you know, any other thing like that. So that's, that's always interesting on trying to break that stigma that it's not just something you see on TV with fancy ladies with lots of money. <laughs> it's, it's good for you and you should do it at least once a month.